welcome to another Thursday Blue Modeling with me, Leighton on Nonstop Kids NSK TV. Now, before we get started on today's model, quick question for you. What do you call the horse that lives next door? A neighbour. You've got it. Today is a balloon model horse. We're going to do a two balloon after your successful two balloon flower. And if you went for the ladybird, your three balloon creation. We're going to stick with two balloons and we're going to do a two balloon horse. So you're going to need to pick two colours that you think complement each other. Hmm. Let's have a look. Um, I'm going to go for orange as my base colour, as my horse. And for tail and mane, I'm going to go for this slightly lighter orange called golden rod. All right. So you need two of those. You're going to need your pump and a pair of scissors for this. So we're going to start off with your base colour for the actual horse. So I'm going to blow up my orange balloon. I'm going to blow up three pumps. So I've got quite a long tail on it because we're going to be adding another balloon to it. All we need to do is basically a giraffe. So if you remember making the giraffe, we're going to do that but with a shorter neck. Yeah. In the same way, we're going to start with two micro bubbles at the beginning to make the lips. Because we all know horses have got these great big lips. That's how they make that amazing sound. Then, just like the giraffe, we're going to make two ears, but with only two bubbles. So with the giraffe, we made four, didn't we? We put two bubbles and the micros on top. And then a dog body. So this is a really simple design. So let's get started. I'm going to come in nice and close and you see. So these little micro bubbles, little tiny bubbles. Yeah, not even my finger whip. I'm going to turn that into a pinch twist. So I'm going to take my knot here. Let's put it this way then. I'm going to pull it down. So there's my knot. I'm going to pull it down and twist it. There we go. Into a pinch twist. And then I make another micro bubble. There we go. I'm going to bend that down and pinch that in. So it's when we do a pinch twist, basically you, you are pinching the bubble and twisting it into the two twists, top and bubble. Top and bottom of it. There we go, because we're doing that there. Make it as much as possible. And I think one more is my fault, but I wasn't counting. So then we've got the uh, <laughs> horse's lips. So they've got quite a long face, so I'm going to make it three fingers long. I pinch it, and I twist it. So there we go. Mouth, face. Now for the top of the horse, I'm going to make it nice up. I'm going to just do two one finger bubbles. I'm not pinching them, so they're the same size. Two one finger balls, I'm going to bend it over and twist them together. So they are my ears on the horse. There we go. You all know horse has got ears sticking at the top of their head. Now, it's all coming together very nicely, very quickly. Straighten these lip, lips up. Well, sort that out in a minute. So we've got lips, long face, ears. Now, horse does have a long neck, but not as long as a giraffe, so we don't want that much balloon. I'm going to make it, so I'm including my thumb into there, five fingers. So I'm going to pinch at the end of my five fingers. So there we are. Now it's for the legs, the body, what you've done on dogs and everything else so far. But it's not a dog, so we don't want three finger legs. We want them much longer. So I would say at least the same as the neck, if not a little bit longer. So I've gone slightly longer, I've gone for six fingers there. Okay, I brought it up, match it up, and then I'm gonna twist that into the balloon. So I pinch the balloon and twist it in, five twists. Got plenty of balloon left. I don't worry about too long a body. And then get my legs lined up, get the back. Okay. Yeah, that looks fine. Bring it back over. So I've just done my body, put a twist in, just go back onto my legs again. Too much more. And then I'm lining it up to get them the same size, pinching where it is, and twist the balloon into that back leg. You guys are getting quick at this, aren't you? Now, this could come undone. So to prevent that, 
we're going to push this through again like we've done before too late. fingers on the balloon pull it apart and push that through so that's going to lock it in it's all looking a bit mangled but we'll straighten things out now what we need to do to finish this off is we need to put a pinch twist here at the back end so i'm going to make my bubble it can be quite soft we give it a little pinch and we need to put a pinch twist in here now so we're going to get that twist on there so i find it easier to hold the remaining balloon over the body of the horse okay pull that out and pinch it into the twist and this is now spare balloon so pop it off with your hand if you've not yet mustered that mustered it mastered it if you've not yet mastered it you can just cut it off with your scissors give it a twist there we go. Just use your scissors if that's where you are. And then wrap. So I'll do it just wrap that last bit round just to keep it secure. So that's your horse so far. Two micro bubbles, both pinch twist to make the mouth. Three fingers for my face, so it's long but not too long. Two one finger bubbles twisted together, not pinch twist, twisted them together into a longer neck than my face, so I've gone for four fingers there. And then for my legs, I said five, six fingers, but it's eh, maybe five to six fingers for the legs. Quite short body, it doesn't need to be too long. That would soon look a bit fuller. So I've gone for four fingers there, and then match my back legs up to my front legs. But that's one balloon. Here's the next bit. I'm gonna take my second color, which I've gone for golden rod to complement the orange. I'm going to blow this up. We don't need to blow this loads. So I'm going to give this two, was that three? Call it three pumps. There will be stuff left over at the end. That's not a problem. Tie up, make it nice and Little squeeze and stretch. Want it to be a little bit softer to play with. Now we're going to twist this straight in to the horse to work from. So we're going to take the knot and we're going to twist it in the ears here. Now, literally I twist it in. I don't just go and force it in there. I line it up where I want it to go. You see? And then I twist the balloon in. So it's a little bit less stressful on the, on the balloon. You'll see some people they force them in. I always, I always try and literally nurse it in there, make sure it's nice and comfortable, make sure it's nice and happy. Pop the knots in there where we can't see it. We don't want to really look at that. Now, if you made the unicorn balloon from the last video, this is going to be very similar to you. Because we're just going to do the same thing now with this, make a selection, a line of bubbles, and we're going to go down and back up. All right? Two, three, four bubbles. So they're all the same size, but all one finger. And I'm just gonna measure that up. And that looks good. Any more, any less. Uh, so from that side I'll go backhanded. So once I get my main long enough, I'm gonna twist it around the base of the neck. And I'm twisting it around twice to make sure it's nice and stable and I'm going to bring four bubbles back up there you go my four bubbles are all pretty much the same size very minor difference if there's any and that now is going to go back up and I'm going to wrap that in to the neck and the ears. Now again I'm twisting this balloon into the space that I want it to go and I'm now taking it all the way around the ears, make sure it's nice and secure because we're going to put this off in a second and move away from this part of the balloon. And you can see the main going down the back, we've got all this spare balloon here, you know I want it to go to the very end we're going to use this end for the tail so like 
week one, when we did a poodle, I make a little poodle tail. So I put a balloon, a twist in the balloon, so I can give this a good squeeze. So I pinch it, make that very tight. So there's lots of pressure. This is a high pressure section. Stretch it out. And this is now the only free space up there. So when I squeeze it, it inflates. And what I can do is now strip from here and all my balloon will go to the end. So it's very easy to cut this off. So you've now got thin balloon here to cut rather than inflated balloon. So we're gonna stretch it and cut it with our scissors. So I'm just get my scissors. Now make sure you've got hold of this because we don't want it to fly away, all right? So I'm just wrap it around my finger, give it a cut. So I've still got the inflated balloon and the short piece from the main. We're not gonna worry about that for the minute. I'm gonna let that go. But we need to work out what we want for the tail. So going at the back, you don't want a silly long tail, you want a tail that's in proportion to what you're doing. So we've got five finger, sorry, six finger legs. So four to five fingers is plenty. So there we go. Give it a pinch and twist that. And I can let the rest of it go. I'm going to tie a knot in what's left of this. Make sure it's nice and secure. Squeeze the air out. So that's our tail. But we don't just want that hanging off the end like that. We're going to put it into a V shape and then play with it. Give it a bit of a stress to the squeeze. So I've concertinaed it into an S or a V shape and I'm squeezing the air backwards and forwards. So we've got that shape. Yeah? So what you're going to do now is twist that into the back. But like when we put the first balloon, I notice I'm actually twisting it in. I'm not just forcing it in there. Get it in nice and tight. We've got some balloon left. We're going to trim that off. Just grab my scissors, give it a snip. A little bit of spare balloon there left. Just hide that there for a second. There we go, there's our tail. Here's our head. We've got some spare balloon here, so we're just going to hide that as well. Now, you've got this gap here in the main. If you're happy with that, then you're happy with it. But if you would like it to sit close together, you've got four bubbles up each side. If you split that into four bubbles at the top and the bottom, you can actually twist them around on your model and it keeps it all nice and tight. Yeah, it keeps the main all the way down the back, which is what I prefer to do rather than send it out there with a big gap down the middle because the main's meant to grow, grow down the middle of the neck. Yeah, so there is, oh, lost it, keep that. There is our uh, two balloon horse. Now we can make it a little bit more snazzier and it's a little bit of remaining balloon. You can wrap that into the mouth. Oop. Let my mouth up first of all. I'll just twist that into the mouth. And then I can pull that down. There it is in the mouth. And just pull it through into the neck. And your pony's also got a reins. Yeah, so we're not wasting anything. You never want to waste any balloon materials. Okay. Two balloons. Yes. Very, very simple. Now, always needed to have a bit of character, a bit of personality. So we pop a little bit of a face on. And I use the same face as I'd use for my unicorn. So we're at the front of a head, but horse's eyes on the side there, so I just do my little line. Little triangle, eye, 
and for some reason, like my unicorns, they always put a few eyelashes on. I draw the same thing on this side. Little line. Little arch. Little pupil. And three little eyelashes. And that's my two balloon horse. Now that is great. Anybody be happy in that. But it doesn't sit very well. So I want my horse to have a little bit of greenery. So we're going to take your flower that you learnt last week, but not the actual full flower, just the petals. So we're going to blow up and blow up the green balloon. As I said before in previous videos, if you've not seen them, just go back. It's the episode before this one. So four or a five finger tail. We need to let a little bit more out anyway. We'll always blow it up and wind it. Tie it up. Give it a squeeze and a stretch. And we're going to make a flower by repeating the petal fold. Four fingers. There we go. Four finger petal. You see that? Going to twist the knot in for the first one. So I pinch and twist. And thread the knot and the nozzle through that first petal. And that's your first one done. It's now all about mirroring it up. So I size them up alongside you. If you see they're the same size. Pinch the balloon and twist it. And then twist the two petals together. And then twist around that first time that twist to secure it. Now the key is to keep the balloon nice and soft and keep wrapping it into a different petal every time. Whoa. So I can just me locking that into place. Go, try it again. So, size it up. I'm gonna pinch and then twist the two petals together. And now I go to my next petal. Size up, give it a little squeeze. They're sized up the same. Give it a pinch and twist the petals together. Now, I could go six, but I'm not going to go six. I'm happy with five. I'm sizing it up. And that will make sense in a moment why I'm only going for five. Give it a pinch and twist the petals together. And if we uh, straighten this out, there we go, so it's all straightened out. Got a piece at the end, we're going to straighten that up as well, because that is a handle. Yeah? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my horse on top. So I've got something to carry their horse around on. Given that, over the moon. Given this, people go, wow! And all I'm going to do to attach it, when you're practicing, you're going to pop some balloons. When you're making balloons, I'm already telling you to cut things off and take things off. You'll probably be throwing them in the bin. They're your scraps. Never throw your scraps away. They're all so useful. So I've got a big bag of useful scraps. These are all my scraps from other balloon models where I've made something and I've only needed to use a little bit of the balloon. So instead of using a brand new balloon to attach this, I've got a scrap of orange from a previous balloon. I'm gonna oh, hide that. I'm gonna thread it through the legs of this horse. I'm gonna thread it through both legs. And then pull it into the twist on the feet, like so. And take those ends and wrap them Try and show you best I can. I'll show you one. Put it in and around the petal. I'll just start like a figure of eight shape. Clean the loose end. Same at the other end. I'll pull it down. And you can see. Try and show you. You'll see that disappear into the middle of the petal. And I'll just figure of eight it. Up and down. And then ping it in so it disappears. And there is your two balloon horse 
three balloons if you want to be amazing you give that to somebody they will be over the moon just straighten his tail back up so that is today's balloon tutorial that is a two balloon horse with reins on a stick this makes it a lot easier for people to carry they're a lot more interested and by simply just giving it that people are really amazed at what you can do so it's now time for me to ride off into the sunset. See you later, guys, back next week on NSK TV. Don't forget to check out the full text and the link to the GoFundMe. All the amazing entertainers working for free to make sure that you get through this uh, unusual period of time. Enjoy yourselves. Take care. Bye-bye. Yeah.